Hey, I received a letter from a young lady that wanted my advice. So I'm going to break the letter down because it was a little long. So here we go. She has a 20 year old cousin who left home after having problems with their mother. She lives with her boyfriend now who is 25 or 26. She, he seems financially secure, has his own house, seems like he's in love with her cousin, etc. They've been together for about six months, but known each other for longer. He took her in when she left home. She's two months pregnant and she's keeping the baby. The lady writing was shocked and talked to her about the responsibility involved, that she should be able to support herself by herself should anything happen. She doesn't currently have a job, by the way. She told her, either way, I'll be here to support you, but you need to grow up fast. And the 20 year old replied, I'll be fine. She's really worried and scared for her, even though this should be a time when she's most supportive. What if this guy breaks up with her? Where will she go with her baby? Obviously I'll support her whatever happens, but there's only so much I can do. I'm a student and I live at home. That's what she says. Her boyfriend seems like a nice guy. However, she doesn't know what it is, but she has a gut feeling where, you know, something is not quite right. And she says she doesn't know what, what, it, what isn't right. She doesn't know what the problem is. She just doesn't feel right about him. She says, maybe it's nothing. I don't know. Okay, sweetie, let me stop you right there. You have every right to be worried. You have every right to be worried. She's very young and no 20 year old knows everything there is to know about life, babies, relationships, and the possibility of things going left and her having to raise a child on her own. She goes on to ask, should I convince her to not have this baby? Am I out of line for that? Okay. That's her decision, her body, her choice. And you would be to blame if she did get an abortion and then later regretted it. She will be upset with you if you convinced her to not have a baby. I wouldn't know personally, but I've heard that women get very attached to the baby they're carrying inside them. And I can imagine that's true. There's no appropriate way to step in between a woman and her child. She also says, I don't want to break my cousin's trust by talking to her mother about it, but I know this is the responsible thing to do. Her relationship with her mom is complicated. If I tell, if I were to tell her mother, she would probably say she doesn't care. Wow. Let her handle this, okay? That's her mother. So if you say she doesn't care, then there is no need to share. Honestly, it sounds like it would cause a lot of drama. Snide remarks and stress. And it's not necessarily the responsible thing to do, in my opinion. Because she's an adult. If she was a child under age, under her mother's care, then yes. But they have problems already, as you mentioned. So if she doesn't want to tell her mother, it's not your business to reveal. I want my cousin to be happy. And I know it's likely that she'll miss out on a lot having a baby at this age. So I'm stuck between being happy for her and being worried for her. I also know that she's an adult now. She's free to make her own choices and take care of her own responsibilities. I just don't want to see her unhappy and regretting this decision. You can't unbirth a baby once you've had it. Okay. She's grown and the sex was consensual. So she did put herself in that situation. As a responsible mother, she will be unable to turn up for a while. And I've seen motherhood change women for the better. I've seen them mature. I completely understand you though. I get it. Now, please stop worrying. You're hurting yourself by doing this. Negative thoughts could cloud your judgment in this situation. Be happy for her. Now I'm pro-choice. I believe that if you do not want to give birth, you have the right to abort. It's your body. No one else will be in that delivery room going through the birth pains, pooping in the bed, crying and screaming. No one will be responsible for that child for years to come, except the parents. No one will be chipping in financially to help care for that child. So they have no say in this decision. They're not taking part in the development of that child in every aspect of life. So they have nothing to say and what the mother decides to do. If a woman is unwilling or unable to do all the things I just mentioned, then she has the right to go through with it. I will also say there are women that have been raped and have decided that they don't want to keep the child. I understand that. I understand that for a variety of reasons. And there are also women 
that it's they're in a life or death situation where you know it's a medical problem that will result in killing them if they were to have this child and they decide oh i want to live i don't think that's selfish you know i think it's messed up when people tell them that that's selfish oh well, who do you think you are wanting to live really okay so if your cousin is ready and willing to go through all the things that I mentioned, let her. Do not pressure her. You already gave your cousin a reality check. If her mind is made up, let it stay that way. What would you say or do if you were in my position? If I were you, I would be there for my cousin in any and every way possible. Mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. I volunteer to go to doctor's appointments, Lamaze classes anything. I'd even try to get to know her boyfriend so I could understand him better and why I get a bad vibe off of him. Because if you can't put your finger on it from a distance, then you gotta get closer and observe. Who knows? All your suspicions may go away. He will make many mistakes, but don't hold everything against him because this is new to him as well. Unless he starts cheating or something, don't go for that shit and she shouldn't either. That deserves punishment of some sort because letting it slide will have him thinking that everything is okay and he can do it again. I show her the reality of it all, the responsibility she's taking on, diapers, bottles, insurance, lack of sleep, 24 hour care of a child, and so on because she needs to understand. I would be even more loving and supportive because right now she doesn't need more worries, no. Last question, am I getting too involved? You can't save her from everything, honey. No one can. We all have to go through good and bad experiences in life. You haven't done anything yet, according to your letter. I feel your intentions are good, but it's her decision. At the end of the day, you love your cousin, and that is wonderful. Many people, including myself, wish they had a strong relationship with their cousins. So that's a beautiful bond you two have. Be supportive. Be her listening ear and give her sound advice. Not biased opinion. There's a difference. There is a difference between those two. Keep an eye out for her boyfriend. But remember, he took her in and he cares for her. Give him a chance. And if he's doing something right, give him props where props are due.